Oh gosh, Cody. This is the biggest one I've caught in a minute. Oh my gosh, he's huge, dude. Watch this. He's freaking huge. Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I've been seeing a lot of you guys getting your rods this week. Everybody's excited, been getting a lot of positive messages, and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys, and it's just awesome to see people out there fishing with the brand new Kicking Their Bass TV combo. It feels so great, and uh, I hope you guys go catch some really big fish. If you guys do, make sure you send me some pictures. I would love to post you guys up on the page. Anybody that got the rod, like just Send me as many pictures as you want. I'm going to be picking some. Post them on the Kicking Their Bass page. And also, if you tag me on the story, I'll make sure to repost you guys. But today we're out here on the Ogeechee River. It's the first day of fall. And we're going to be trying to put a smackdown on these bass today. We haven't been out here in two weeks, but we have been just catching the mess out of them out here. But there's a problem today when we came out. The last five days has been raining out here in Savannah, Georgia. And the river is flooded. And... I'm a little afraid it's going to affect the bite. You know, we've been coming out here for, you know, one to three hours and catching between 30 and 50 fish every time we come out. Today might be a little bit different. It might give us a challenge, which I'm up for. And uh, we're just going to try to hunt for these bass, try a bunch of different things today, and more importantly, try to catch some big ones. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell and hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. I'm going to show you guys what combos I'm rocking, also what baits we're going to be throwing. We're going to go get to work and try to catch some bass. Let's get it popping. So I actually just rigged up a few rods for us to come out today. Got three brand new kicking combos ready to rock and roll. Put brand new line on them. They look in saucy. We're going to have to set them up today. That's very important, guys, is setting up your reels. So we're going to make sure we get these all set up perfect because if you don't have your reel set up right, she ain't going to cast good. And that's very important. By the way, I meant to tell you guys this. We just had a new hat drop on the website, Little Muscle Fish, on the corner of this Richardson hat. If you guys want to check it out, it's kickingtheirbass.com. I'll drop the link down below. Thanks to everyone in advance that supports me and my clothing line. I really appreciate y'all. Well, let's go ahead and rig up these rods. I got three of them on deck today. I also got some of my other poles right here. We're gonna, free, we're gonna rig up a few different baits today just to experiment and try some things out, especially since this water is very high and just see what these fish want today. So let's go ahead and dig in the boat, see what we got and tie them on. So I have three of these combos I brought out today. Two of them I rigged up 15 pound. One of them, I, 15 pound fluoro. One of them I rigged up 17. So what I'm gonna do is first I gotta figure out which one's which. This I believe is a 17. Yeah, that's the 17. So we're gonna be tying on for our first bait. We got this little crankbait right here. This is by Strike King. By the way, if you want my discount code for any of the Strike King or Loose products, I'll have that in the description box down below for y'all with links as well. But um, we're gonna tie on this crankbait. I've never thrown this out here on this river. It is a little deep for out here, but then again, the water is flooded and we might find another little secret out here. So we're gonna try it. Um, this crankbait has chartreuse on the bottom and it has like a blue back. I'm interested to see if they'll eat it. So we're gonna tie this bad boy on, 15 pound fluoro. It's a little heavy for what I would like for this crank, but We'll go with it. Same with the jerk bait. We're gonna tie a jerk bait on as well on this other combo. That's the first one. We're gonna have to set these up too. These are actually brand new out of the package. Kicking rods. So I do have to adjust these to make sure they're gonna be casting right. Here's another one of 15 pound. We're going to be rigging up a jerk bait on this one. If you guys have been watching some of the recent videos, you guys know this jerk bait right here, and we're about to tell you the color because I actually have the package. Strobe Shad. That's what this one's called. This is the one we've been smoking them on. I had a lot of people ask me about it. Just a KVD Strike King jerk bait. So it has purple on the top, translucent body on the sides, and then right on the bottom of it, it's got this chartreuse line, which I think really helps out here. I think that's that's why they like this color so much. But yeah, for everyone that's been asking, it's Strobe Shad. That's the color of this one. Um, make sure you use my discount code too. I get you some money off if you are looking to purchase it. And I did. We we caught that tank on this the other day too, Cody. Yeah. That monster. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. We caught my biggest my PB on a jerk bait. Fish was pushing ten. I'm telling you. You guys go let me know what you think it is, but I'm telling you that fish is pushing ten. Tie that bad boy on with a uni nut. We're good to go on this one two baits down and we're gonna adjust today guys if they're not eating this we'll tie on some other things but for the time being um we're gonna 
run with a crankbait, a jerk bait, and then this last rod that I'm about to rig up real quick. That's yeah. a photo. That is picture perfect, baby. All right. Lastly, we're gonna grab this rod. This one has 17 pound fluoro, which I like throwing on my bottom bait. So what we're gonna get is a little lead, bullet weight, it's a quarter ounce. Put her up on her line. We're putting no peg on this. We're gonna grab us a hook. This is a four aught extra wide gap. Tie this bad boy on with a uni nut. There we go. Wet our line. Boom. Cut our tag in, pow. And lastly, we are going to add a big green pumpkin worm. Sucker's been catching them out here. I don't know why, but it's been doing it. So we're gonna put one on today. We substituting the crawl with a worm. Boom, just like that. Got a rigged up weedless, look at that, perfecto. So those are the three pulls that we're gonna start off with today. Like I said, if they're not eating, we're gonna change up, we're gonna adapt. That's what you gotta do when it comes to fishing. So let's go ahead and start casting around, guys. See if we can get any of these fish to bite. Kind of work our way up and down this canal. Figure out where these fish are positioned, more importantly. And uh, hopefully we'll get on just a nasty bite where we're catching them left and right. All right, boys and girls. So before we just start slaying these bass, at least that's what I hope we're going to do, we got to set up a few of these rods. So I kind of wanted to talk about this, you know, because th this is the thing. I don't care what bait caster that you buy. If you don't have it set up correctly, it ain't going to cast the best of, of its ability. So I, I tend to run my bait caster setups very, very, very loose. So I'm not the best person to explain this, but I'm going to try my best for what I think you guys should start off on as far as bra the braking system goes. So right here on the side, I usually run mine on between one and three. You guys do not need to put it on there because, or, or maybe you can, I run mine super loose. Cody knows he's picked up a few of my rods and kind of backlash them. A-Dub does the same thing. He likes his a little bit tighter. Like A-Dub probably runs his on like a six, maybe a seven. I like running mine between one and three, but like I said, that's not really ideal. I think it's the way that I cast and I, I tend to be able to run my reels a little looser. So if you guys are starting to tune this, I'd probably start it off on like eight and work your way down, see how it is and adjust the side knob depending on how tight that you need it to be. But I'm gonna start mine off, let's do two and a half. And let's see how this baby cast. And uh, if she's a little bit loose, I'm gonna play with that side knob and tighter, tighten her down a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, it casting pretty good, it is a little loose. Feels good. Make sure a drag set too, that's one thing. When these things ship guys, none of this stuff is set. You know, you gotta do it yourself. Loosen her up a little bit. There we go. We're gonna tighten this knob just a couple clicks. All right. Oh my God, cast like a dream. Need to get one more click. Yeah. All right, let's give her one more test cast. I think this guy's about set up for what I like. Look at that, dude, that thing's beaming. Perfect. All right, well, that's one rod that I have set up. I'm not gonna show this whole process for all of these, but yeah, guys, I, I probably need to make a video on this, talk a little more in depth about it for a lot of you guys that, you know, don't have too much experience setting up your combos. If not, I, I would just Google how to set one up and. I'm sure there's plenty of videos on, or not Google, but YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there that shows you how to set up reels when you get them out of the box. But we're gonna rig up these next two or set them up. And uh, we're gonna get the fishing, man. I'm gonna see if we can get on some, some good ones today. All right, boys and girls, we got some rain clouds above us. So let's just hope the weather's gonna be okay with us. I'm just hoping these fish bite. This is kind of scaring me with how this water level is.
why the weather has to be so bad, man. Like, so let me come out here and do my job. That's all I ask. All right, boys and girls, we just got to a new little spot right here. We're gonna give her a shot. That last spot, the water's so high, just with it being flooded out here, those fish are just not there. It's crazy. I was talking to Cody about it. It's like, you know, we'll go out there one day and catch 50, and then we show up today, and it's like you don't have one bite. It's kind of crazy to think about, but I think we're gonna get a few right here. I hope so, at least. We just had a huge little rainstorm wash through. First day of fall, dude, they're taking a break. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Yeah, right? They're on fall break. <laughs> Literally. Dude, if this was our first day on the Ogeechee River, I'd solely be convinced that there's not a fish in this place. I'm serious. God, dog is a good one too. <laughs> Holy cow. Can things switch around any crazier? I don't know what I just said, but look at that one. He ate that sucker too, boy. Oh no. Oh no. Did you hook me? Cody. I got you, bro. I ain't gonna let him. I ain't gonna let him do it. I got me, I got my PB. Get the net. I might have to rip that little thing. Do you care? No. That's the one to hook you. Oh, what a party yeah, foul. Sure. What, a, what a party foul. Hey, finally though. Guys, we've been out here. How long have we been out here, Cody? Over an hour. Yeah. It's probably been an hour and a half. And usually by this time we have like 20 fish. But we have yet to have a bite until this. And I was, me and Cody, it was funny. We were just talking about it. I was like, dude, if we've never been to this river before and it was our first day out here, I'd be solely convinced that there's no bass in here. And then I have this sucker grab it. So last time we came out, I was only throwing this jerk bait. I caught like, I think 28 on it in like an hour and a half. And that was our last video out here. Well, one thing that I was doing that day that I think keyed off a lot more bites was working it very slow, like a twitch, twitch, and I paused for like five to eight seconds. That's literally what I did on this cast, and then I had this one bite. So maybe that's the trick, or this fish just pulled up there. But not a bad one. We start off somewhere. Thank you, buddy. It's crazy because all the fish out here are usually fat. This one is just skinny. I mean, he's still got a little belly on him, but he's not fat how they usually are. Hey, give me some, Cody. Let's get it, baby. Well, there we go, guys. We got our first fish today, and we caught a wild Cody while we are at it. Let's see if we can get another one. Isn't that crazy, dude? I threw so many casts of that worm and then I threw that jerk bait up there and it was like instant. Yeah. Holy cow, that was a good one, dude. That one, no joke. And I've never casted this that accurately up there. Yeah. Did you see where I was at? Yeah, right dude, that felt like a big one. He was running. It's like they're just grabbing it though. They're not committing. Yes. Good one, dude. Oh yeah. Slam that sucker, brother. It's a two pounder. You think that's the same fish or a different? Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a, dude, that's a two and a half pounder. That's a good one, man. Really good fish. Bites are coming in slow today, guys, but if we're gonna catch some good ones like this on a jerk bait, I do not mind. Look at that one, boys and girls. That's a good fish, Cody. That's a great one. 
I don't know if that's the same one that bit me before. I think these fish are about to start pulling up. We're about to start slaying them. But that's a good one, man. Solid two and a half pounder right there. As fat as can be. That's a brute. Big head on him. Thank you, baby. That was a good fish, man. That's a good oh, fish yeah. for out here. Eight more, Dan? You want eight more? Want eight. Right, I'll give you another one right here. You ready? Ready, Jimmy? You ready, Jimmy? Oh, gosh. Dude, he got stuck on the brush pile, and I thought I had a tank, dude. All right. He ain't as big, but guess what, Cody? Guess what, buddy? What? What does that mean? What? The bite is about to turn on. They're coming. Back-to-back -back cast? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He ain't big. <laughs> I knew he wasn't big, and then all of a sudden, he got stuck on the brush pile out in the middle, dude, and I was like, wait, I might have me a tank, but that's a brute. Short, stubby. That pretty guy. He's a healthy one. Let's keep it rolling. I'm about to say, watch it just be crazy now. Oh baby, oh baby, they bite in. We've been waiting two hours for this. But guess what? They bite in. All right, boys, fish number four. Our day turned around really quick. We were fishing for two hours, didn't have a bite, and then in five minutes we caught four fish. You gotta love it. Let's keep the ball rolling. I felt it roll right over that tree. I said, if you're gonna bite it, you need to bite it in like 0.2 seconds, and then it never did. Right here, come on. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby. I was gonna hook set in the outer space. Look at that awkward hook set. That's a good little fish though. Right in the bottom lip. Oh baby. Dude, these are good ones, Cody. There's some great, great fish biting right now. High quality. Look at his tail too. See those little markings? You got him a little chunk out of there, man. Like someone just took a little bite, a little nibble. Yeah. That's a pretty fish though. These are some good ones, man. Just brutes. Not bad fish at all. We would have just caught a lemon in a tournament just like that. Yep. I'm gonna catch one this cast. My senses are tingling. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, that was sweet. You didn't even see that, did you? Not on the camera. That's pretty cool. He's a fighter, man. Let me tell you, he's a fighter. Dude, what is up with this? So, I'm just so convinced that only in this canal these fish are brutes like this. You see how fat they are? Yeah. Like that, those fish that we caught earlier were not that fat. They're just so chunky. Well, that's our first bite in this spot, whole day. You know, we fished here for like an hour at the beginning, didn't have a bite. And now we're just easing up in here. That was one of my first casts of the worm and had him bite it. So I think there's more down here. We're going to get on him real good here in a moment. It's all a little timing deal. Oh gosh, I got a good one. Oh gosh, Cody. This is the biggest one I've caught in a minute. Oh my gosh, he's huge, dude. Watch this. He's freaking huge. That might be a four pounder. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, this is him, baby. Mm. Look at the head on that sucker, baby. Give me some. You've been waiting on one like that for a minute, baby. Yes. Where was he in the tournament? For real. You won't believe what's in his throat. What? <laughs> oh, dude. Look at that one, Cody. That's a tank, bro. That is what we've been waiting for on this river. You don't see many of them that are like this out here, guys. Like a two and a half pounder is a big fish on this river to catch. It's a good one. There's also some really big ones, but you don't get to hold a good fish like that often. And that's a freaking tank right there. And you want to know something even crazier? And this is going to lead up to our, one of our next video ideas. There's a crab in his mouth. You see it, Cody? I can see it, yeah. 
Look at that. Literally a crab in his mouth, bro. That's a tank, man. Well, guys, that is a good fish right there. We're gonna get this baby back in the water. Those are the tanks that you wanna see out here. It's a great, great fish. Has some crabs in his mouth too, that's just crazy. Oh my gosh, he was aggressive. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We're about to get poured on, so we're gonna get out of here. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you all in the next video.